love and marriage, guys, actually making a huge comeback. Don't look now, but for all the talk of single mothers and family averse millennials, there are signs that people are embracing and staying married, and the ideal even of entertaining larger families. Now, the divorce rate, believe it or not, has also been declining. Take a look at these numbers. It was 5.3% uh, of one, every 100,000 in 81, down to 4.7% in 90. 3.6% in 2011. In fact, divorce as a percentage of marriages down 24% since 1990. That is absolutely huge. And so there are also small increments in a number of people who say that the ideal family is three children, maybe even four more children. You can see on that chart, two starting to edge down a little bit. So people are actually talking even larger families. So, Joni, upon further review, <laughs> are these signs that Maybe we're feeling better about the future. Maybe, you know, we're feeling better about the economy if we're willing to start to get married and to have kids and form households. You know, it, it's fantastic to see that divorce rates are declining, and that could be a very good thing for families and households. Um, but what we are seeing, too, is that people have been waiting to get married longer. You know, they don't get married at a young age right away. So they wait. They take their time. They're a little bit choosier, maybe, with who their partner is. They're more mature. And so they make a better decision. So I think it's a great sign. can be very good for the economy. could be good for the housing market, certainly, as we see these millennials that have right. waited, right? They didn't move out of their parents' house. Wow. They're finally moving out. They're finally getting married. And hopefully they'll, you know have a long-lasting marriage. Another reason the divorce rate is declining is people are just not getting married at all. Yeah, so either they're not well, getting they, married I at all guess or they're they, the peak, I guess we peaked there, but I mean, those are major declines on yeah. divorces. I, now, a lot of people said it, the recession people were loath to get divorced uh, <laughs> for one reason or another, but it feels like maybe there could be a sea change. I mean, you're a family values person. You wrote a book about this, your book, Roar. Do you sense that maybe in America things are changing? Maybe we're getting back to those old-fashioned values. No, and I think not that we're going to have the Norman Rockwell painting anytime soon, but I think the key is about trust here. As we become insecure and necessarily what's going on with our economy, our government, who can we trust? Our family. And it kind of goes back to, to the past where people would have these large families with hope that one kid would survive and be successful and help out. Maybe we're starting to get back to that going with family businesses that we hope that we have one child that will be able to at least be successful in case the other one's And, and here's the much. thing. If you, if you don't trust, you always can give your husband an Apple watch. <laughs> Deneen, what do you think? Well, listen, there is a correlation between the, the birth rate and the economy. In 2007, the birth rate was, you know, through the roof, record numbers. And in 2008, as the market went down, the economy went down, the birth rate went down. So good economy, dim the lights and put on the <laughs> All right, guys, you know what? He's not going to get you, but we got to leave it there and I couldn't leave it on a better issue.